Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how to use CSS classes for styling information on a web page. So this is an example of the page that we're going to be working on and it has just some basic style sheets already being applied. So to begin with I'm going to go into the HTML code for this page and We've already got an embedded style sheet in here that is just doing some basic formatting on the body tag. So we've got a simple background color, left and right margin, and we're formatting the font to sans serif. Now you may have worked with CSS previously and noticed that if we use one of the tags, like say for example the paragraph tag, we can format all of the paragraphs in the document to have the same styling. So let's say I wanted my paragraph tags to have the font family. Let's just keep it simple and say we want it as a serif. So what should happen is everywhere there's a P tag in our document, it will pick up this formatting and change the font to a serif. So I'm going to save this switch back to my page and refresh it and you'll see that all of the paragraphs there's only two but they would all have that style apply to it and that can be very powerful because it saves us from going into each individual paragraph and styling it like you would have done in old HTML so what if we wanted to style this paragraph differently than any of the other paragraphs within our page or within our website. How can we do that when it's automatically picking up this paragraph styling? Well, the way that we can go about doing that is creating what's called a class. And a class designation in our CSS rules will start with a period and then we give it a name. So usually the name will have some kind of meaning as to what the style is or maybe where it's being applied. So I'm going to call this class intro and what we'll do is apply some some italicized text. So let's say font style italic. Now if I save this and I'm just going to refresh it in the browser so that you can see that right now nothing becomes italicized. And that's because once we create a class, in order to apply it to something, we have to come in and specify where the class should be applied to. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm just going to take this, uh, maybe this first couple of lines in here. I'm just going to make another paragraph so that we can see some distinct difference. So I'll put in my closing paragraph tag. So I want this class to have the intro formatting. So all I need to do is to go into the HTML tag that I want to apply that class to and put in class equals and then inside double quotes the name of the class without the period. So class equals intro. So this italics format should be applied to just this paragraph and none of the other ones. So I'm going to save this and switch back to my browser. And when I refresh, we should have an italicized paragraph of text in here. So this one paragraph is just picking up the class that was created here for intro. Now with setting up a class like this, that means that we can apply it to any other tag structure that we have in our document. So if I wanted this heading to tag to pick up this style formatting, then I could come in here and I could say class equals intro, right? So now relax and recharge will pick up the italic format. So I'm going to switch back here and refresh and you can see that it's become italicized as well. Now some other times you may also see a class written with the tag type. So if I put a P in front of it 
then what that's doing is it's saying that only paragraph tags that have the intro class applied will use this formatting. So now if I save this and refresh it, we should see a difference. This paragraph should keep this intro italic styling, but this heading two tag will lose its italicized text because we've specified here that this should only be applied to paragraphs. So I'm going to save that and I'll come back here and let's refresh and you'll see that this did maintain the italicized text and this reverted back again. So why would you do that? Well, that gives you the ability to be very specific and say only paragraphs that have the intro class should have this styling. We could have another one in here that could say any heading two tag that has an intro and then we can specify something different for that. Let's just say font, or let's just say color, and we'll just do white, just to keep it simple. So now any heading two that has the class intro will have white. And so we have another heading two tag. Let's come down here and copy this. We'll paste it in. We'll take out the class intro. And then we'll be able to compare the one with the intro class and one without. So let me save. Now we'll go back and refresh. And you'll see that this is picking up the intro and this heading to tag is just the default. So that's how to create a class and that's also how to, you can be more specific as to where that class can be applied to. Now the other thing that is helpful with classes is in addition to applying them to entire elements like paragraphs or headings or list items, things of that nature, what if we wanted to format some text within a paragraph or within another element differently? We can also use our class with that and we use a new tag called the span tag. So for this example, I'm going to take off the P intro and just leave it as the intro class. So then that way I can apply it to other places in addition to the paragraph text. So let's say I wanted this text to be formatted with the intro class. So I could come in here and I'll put I'll surround that text with a span tag. We have an opening and closing span tag. Now by itself, the span tag doesn't do anything. If I save this and refresh it in the browser, we'll find this text in here and you'll see that it hasn't been affected by anything just by being surrounded by the span tag. But we can use the span tag in combination with your styles. So I can say class equals, and we'll use the intro class again. So we'll be able to apply that class style to what's between the opening and closing span tag. So now let me save this. We'll switch back and refresh. And now you can see that yes, that, that intro styling has been applied here. So these were just simplistic examples of creating a class. All I did was just change the font style or the color here, but you certainly can build on to add more complex formatting.